This morning, I want to replace the bearings in the back of this boat here. Right back here, there's a roller bearing that I made. And this part here is actually the outer part of the bearing. And then the inner part of the bearing is the pipe, the propeller shaft. The propeller's looking in good shape, it's a good thing. A little bit of rust, whatever. Um, and then there are all these plastic rollers inside here. And I want to replace them because they're a little bit loose. Actually, geez, they're not even that loose. Okay, maybe they're not that loose, but they are a little bit loose. Oh, you can see them just there. And they're also not made out of the best material. Because when I originally made this bearing, I wasn't sure how it was going to work out. And I didn't want to use something really good. So I used some plastic from some old garbage table and the other thing is I lost one of the bearings <laughs> well one of the rollers I mean so uh, yeah there's a space which I'm sure is contributing to some vibration it looks like it's generally in pretty good shape though Jeez, I could just replace that one bearing I don't know. I, th I think I want to replace them all, though, because I, I can make them out of some nicer material. Well, let me just pull them out and see how they look. If I remember correctly, the propeller is on there pretty tight. So it's going to be easier to undo this bolt and just push the shaft down a little bit. Okay, that screwdriver should keep the whole shaft from falling out. Jeez, maybe. All right, rollers. Oh, muddy down here. Oh, you know, these look like they're in pretty good shape. This one's got a chunk out of it there. This one's got a piece cracked off. Oh, the rest look pretty good. It's missing a little bit. Yeah, maybe it wouldn't hurt to replace them all. One thing I did notice when I was just out there was how snug it all fit. It wasn't originally that snug fitting of a bearing. However, I recently changed the propeller shaft and the one I put in was slightly bigger than the one I took out. So I guess that took up the slack and made the bearing snug. So. These guys do fit really well now. Um, and I'm definitely missing one. I think I might have been missing two when I was looking at it. So I want to make two more than are here. That's like almost exactly two and a half tenths of an inch. Two and a half tenths of a noodle unit. Don't ask me why this is inches. Or why it's tenths of inches. I don't know. Now this here is much nicer material than this crappy old stuff, which has actually done a decent job. So I'm going to start cutting. Let's see. If I cut carefully, I should be able to get two out of that. Yeah. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Yeah, that'll be one extra. Alright. I don't have a lot of room to spare, but I should be able to get the rollers out of these as long as I'm careful. Don't make any mistakes. Well, I can make one mistake because I have one extra. 
I know a square piece and a three jaw chuck is not ideal. Whatever, it doesn't look terrible. Oh, I think this is the last one. Except now I have to cut them all to length. Right. Except the first one I did. Oh, okay, that's it. Wow, that was tedious. Oh, I think I was in there for like two or three hours just lathing those little things. Oh, no. Okay, let's get them in place. All right, guys. All right, I got all 15 in there. And I kind of want to get a look from down there. I can't get my head down there, so I'm going to just use the camera. Hopefully, all the spaces are full up. Yeah, that looks about right. All right, I'm pretending I'm looking at the screen when I'm actually obviously looking at the camera. But that's what I said a minute ago. I just reviewed the video, yeah. Looks like, uh, looks like all the spaces are taken up by rollers, so I can pull it up, connect it to the motor. Should be good. Okay, this next part I have to be careful. I wanna yank it up quick, because I don't want any of the rollers to have a chance to fall out. I start moving this. Okay. All right, screwdriver, just hold that together for a second. Make sure no rollers fell out. Oh, looks like they're all in there. Good. In that case, we can take this out. Don't move. How's this go? Oh, yeah. Right, propeller blades. Keep the thing cool. Alright, let's turn this on, low power. That was just the solar panel, let me give it a little bit more. Beauty, sounds great. Ooh, now I just need to take it out for a test. All right, let's, well, let's put the solar panel switch on first, even though there's no sun right now. Well, it does sound a little different. There's no rattling anymore, that's good. Oh yeah, there's no rattling at all. Ooh, nice. Hopefully it stays like that. Go a little faster. All right, full speed, let's do it. Yeah, 
Alright, it seems like the vibration is just coming from the motor. Because I opened up my thing here. Well, if I push on the motor, wait, if I push it on, if I push on the motor in the right way, the vibration goes away. And uh, I did adjust the motor when I was doing stuff in there, so I think I didn't get it lined up right. I think that's the only problem. The bearing itself seems to be running smoother, which is great. And actually, even with that, oh, the motor vibration is down a lot now, actually. I think I just shoved the motor into a better spot. <laughs> oh, silliness. Maybe one day I'll make, like, a motor mount that's actually perfectly lined up with the, what's it called, the propeller shaft. That would be nice. <laughs> Oh, right now it's running super smooth though. Yeah, I think I, I think I fixed it. Ah, nice. Yeah, I guess I guess when I retightened the motor, it was just a little bit, a little bit out of I don't know, out of alignment. But yeah. Going fast. Not vibrating much. stop to pick up some food some chicken yucca tomato stuff and a piece of cheese well I'm gonna have a tasty dinner tonight all right time to go home